Hi, I'm your Mary Cruz. Welcome to Cruising with your Mary. In honor of Back to the Future Day and the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future Part 2, I thought it would be fun to take a look back at some of the filming locations that started it all. And of course, the most iconic prop of all time, the famous time machine. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? That's right, Marty. Doc Brown did build a time machine out of a DeLorean. In fact, there were several time machines built for the movies and only a few remain. This one was the hero car and it was beautifully restored to its original filming condition. Can you believe in the original concept that time machine was going to be a refrigerator? <laughs> they finally settled on the DeLorean thinking it would be safer for kids and a whole lot sexier. Boy, were they right. But how did they get the time machine to look so cool? The truth is, they used a lot of scraps. If you look at the nuclear reactor, the base is just a hubcap from a Dodge Polara. You see, they wanted the time machine to look like it could have been built in Doc Brown's garage. And speaking of Doc Brown's garage, I am in Burbank, California at the Burger King on Victory Boulevard. This is where Doc Brown's garage was located in 1985, and it's the birthplace of the time machine. But <laughs> where's the garage? Well, the garage that we saw in 1985 was just a facade or false front, which was placed right behind me but it's based on a real garage that we'll get to see a little bit later on as part of Doc Brown's 1955 mansion. This here, this is where we get to see Marty McFly for the very first time, and we see his dreams of becoming a rock star as he blows out Doc Brown's giant speaker. Now, realizing that he's late, Marty rushes out of the gate, which was right about here, and skateboards out of this parking lot. It's a big day for Marty. He's about to compete in the Battle of the Bands. I am at the McCambridge Park and Recreation Center in Burbank, California, and I'm standing right in front of the very same stage where the Hill Valley Battle of the Bands auditions took place. And if you look around, you can see that this place really hasn't changed a whole lot aside from the paint. Huey Lewis was standing right about here when he crushed Marty's dreams of launching his music career on that stage. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. What a disappointment. Oh well, things can only get better from here, right? Marty rides his skateboard and stops right here to find his dad's car totaled in the driveway. What a bummer. What about his romantic plans for a great camping trip with Jennifer? I hope he at least gets a good nap in because I'm sure that 1.15 a.m. meeting with Doc Brown at the Twin Pines Mall, it's not going to be easy to get up for. We are at Twin Pines Mall, which later becomes Lone Pine Mall. Marty skateboards right down this hill, stops right about here, to see Doc Brown's truck parked in that lot. Doc Brown's truck is parked right here when we see the time machine for the very first time. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. My calculations are correct. Marty and Doc were standing right about here as Einstein was across the way in the time machine, poised to become the world's first time traveler. Then we see the time machine racing towards them and disappearing in an explosion of light. What's this? What's this? The photo booth would have been right behind me. And this is where we see Marty get transported to 1955 with no way back except Doc Brown. We are in Pasadena, California at the Gamble House. This was Doc Brown's mansion in 1955. And directly behind me is the garage that I promised you. This was the model for the facade that was used in the Burger King parking lot to represent Doc Brown's garage in 1985. See the resemblance? We see Marty running up this driveway and knocking on Doc Brown's door. Then we see Marty chasing Doc Brown across the lawn to the garage. It's through the garage doors that Marty convinces Doc Brown that he really is from the future. It's inside the garage that they figure out exactly what it's going to take to get Marty 
Back to the Future. <gasps> if you want to see where lightning strikes the clock tower sending Marty back to the future, well you can come to Universal Studios Hollywood. Whether you actually get to see the clock tower or not, well that depends on Universal's filming schedule. After returning from 1955, Marty goes into his garage right there and discovers the Toyota 4x4 he'd had his eye on, adding to the evidence that he and Doc Brown did in fact change the future. But before he can get in that baby, take it for a spin, and enjoy his new reality, Doc Brown re-emerges in the DeLorean and says one of his most famous lines, taking them right into Back to the Future 2. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. so much for joining me on this Back to the Future tour and be sure to tune in next week so we'll go on another adventure. And remember, the future is what you make it, so make it a good one. <laughs>